And my mouth will proclaim your praise. <coughs> Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Come, let us sing to the Lord. And shall we joy to the rock who saves us? Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, Listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When Edirah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my words. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come now and forever. Amen. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving.
O sleeper, and rise from the dead. How many are my foes, O Lord? How many are rising up against me? How many are saying about me? There is no help for him in God. But you, Lord, are a shield about me, my glory who lift up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord. He answers from his holy mountain. I lie down to rest and I sleep. I wake for the Lord upholds me. I will not fear even thousands of people who are ranged on every side against me. Arise, Lord, save me, my God. You strike all my foes on the mouth. You break the teeth of the wicked. O Lord of salvation, bless your people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Awake, O sleeper, and rise from the dead. The Word is the true light, which enlightens every man. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of His hand. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth. Their words to the utmost bounds of the world, there he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun, to the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, it revives the soul. The rule of the Lord is to be trusted. It gives wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right. They gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear. It gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is holy, abiding forever. The decrees of the Lord are true and all of them just. They are more to be desired than gold, than the purest of gold. And sweeter are they than honey, than honey from the comb. So in them your servant finds instruction, great reward is in their keeping. But who can detect all his errors from hidden faults acquit me? From presumption restrain your servant, and let it not rule me. Then shall I be blameless, clean from a reason. May the spoken words of my mouth, the thoughts of my heart, win favor in your sight, O Lord, my rescuer, my rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Word is the true light which enlightens every man.
Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Yours, O Lord, our grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. For all in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you, and you have dominion over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Therefore, our God, we give you thanks, and we praise the majesty of your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> His disciples remembered it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. To my words give ear, O Lord, give heed to my groaning. Attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord, in the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil, no sinner is your God. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil, you destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man the Lord detests. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Leave me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. Make clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths, their heart is all mischief. Their throat a wide open grave, all honey their speech. Declare them guilty, O God, let them fail in their designs. Drive them out for their many offenses, for they have defied you. All those you protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them, in you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the just man, Lord. You surround him with favor as with a sheep. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. His disciples remembered it was written, Zeal for your house will consume. second letter to the Thessalonians. Anyone who would not work should not eat. We hear that some of you are unruly, not keeping busy, but acting like busybodies. We enjoin all such, and we urge them strongly in the Lord Jesus Christ to earn the food they eat by working quietly. You must never grow weary of doing what is right, brothers.
mode 7. Badisador Christus, et sanctificador omnis mundus, et tribuit nobis, remissionem peccatorum, aqua et spiritu omnes purificant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Badis ador Christus, et sanctificatur omnis mundus, et tribuit nobis, remissionem peccatorum, aqua et spiritu omnes purificans. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Father, may everything we do begin with your inspiration and continue with your saving help. Let our work always find its origin in you and through you reach completion. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us and also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflect the God's light, light by revealing to us the mystery of the word, eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and all truth. O 
beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who in the last supper rested your head upon his heart, brought on the secrets of the Father's beloved Son, and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus is crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his life, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the others, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit of Mary, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and our Lord. Thank <laughs> you. 